Priority One, subspace communication. In Star Trek, whether it's in the movies or the TV series, there's always these massive battles and these epic moments where you have lots of forces on one side versus another. In Star Trek Online, these are called fleet actions. Star Trek Online is a very dynamic universe. There are fleet actions occurring at almost any given time in any sector. And these are either static conflicts that happen around a planet, or they could be just a fleet of ships traveling around the sector. As a captain, it's your decision as to when you want to engage in these conflicts. As you're exploring the universe, you'll get notified where these large-scale events are, so you know where you're needed. So fleet actions are all based on a primary objective. That's usually a source of trouble. Uh, these are multi-tiered events that will escalate as you get closer to that objective. That's why you need to work with the other captains if you're going to achieve victory. Some of the scenarios you might encounter during a fleet action would be a Klingon attack force besieging Starbase 24. So another fleet action is the Gorn minefield. Now the Gorn have formed an armada and they are laying mines all over a vital trade route. It is up to you to form a task force and then not only take out all the mines, but then you have to chase off the Gorn Armada and secure the trade route. Or you may find yourself coming to the aid of a Starfleet task force that's blocking the advancement of a Borg invasion that's ripping across Federation space. One of the great things about fleet actions is you get to coordinate with multiple teams and see some tactics come into play that you don't normally see just with five players. You'll find that fleet actions are where your captain's skills are put to the test. Cover on the rear. Back pattern alpha. Coming on your flight. This is a move. Rear shield is 30%. I can't take him. 